Zubair, thank you for your kind introduction. And congratulations to the Muslim Association of Canada for organizing another magnificent Eid festival. I'm pleased to be joined by one of my colleagues here today, Minister's Captain and Eric Hoskins of the Jetman. Ibulah. This is what we work for and pray for a good life. On behalf of all Ontarians, I wish you a very happy day. And on a personal note, thank you for your hospitality, for welcoming me to your mosques, and sharing the wisdom of your faith with me. We built a strong friendship here in Ontario, and I want it to endure. Because whether we've been here for five generations, five years, or five months, we're all working and building together for our families, our communities, for Ontario. If this is our home, this is where we choose to be together, and this is where we welcome the world, all cultures, faiths, peoples. Ontario thrives on diversity. It defines us. It enriches us economically, socially, and culturally. And while Ontario is your home, you also remain close to your homelands. And that's a tremendous advantage for all of us because you help us build stronger ties, ties of understanding and trade. I plan to personally lead another trade mission to Pakistan and India. By working with our friends and relatives there, we will not only prosper, but make the world a better place. Last year, Ontario stood in solidarity with Pakistani flood victims. One year later, there is still a tremendous amount of work to do, but there's also hope. Pakistani's people, Pakistan's people remain resilient, courageous, and strong. And Ontario will continue to support efforts in Pakistan to rebuild. It's also why we join with you in recognizing the plight of the people of Somalia and others of the Horn of Africa. And why Ontario has committed financial support to famine relief efforts there. Because as Ontarians, we don't forget our friends. And when a friend needs help, the Lord will help them. In Ontario, we believe that we have our best and our newcomers get everything they need to succeed. Because when our newcomers succeed, we all succeed. I want to close by thanking you on three counts. First of all, thank you for choosing Ontario and for working so hard to raise your families, contribute to your community, and build a strong cause. Second, Thank you for opening the eyes of all Ontarians to the beautiful, peaceful, loving, and respectful faith that is this one. Every day, in the way that you lead your lives, you show us the true meaning of this I believe you are children most important ambassadors, and they do a wonderful job. Every day, in our schools, on our sports teams, in their part-time jobs, in their volunteerism, and in their charitable works, your children teach all Ontario children what it truly means to be Muslim, and you have every right to be proud of them.
What's most important is not the color of our skin. It is not the language that we speak. It is not the culture that we inherit. It is not the traditions that we cherish. It is not the wealth that we accumulate. And it is not the power that we wield. What is most important when it comes to people everywhere on this tiny planet that we share is what we have in common. It's our humanity. Deep down inside every one of us, there is this noble idea, an abiding conviction, something that tells us it is right to respect each other, it is right to support each other, it is right to care for each other, it is right to lift each other up, it is right to love one another. In short, thank you for the so many ways that you enrich our province and for being a part of Ontario's story. It's our story. Have a joyful evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. 